I have a genuine question for you. Yeah? Do you think there will ever be another Monster High video game? I don't really. If there is, it'll be G3. That's true. Is oh, it, it skipped the cooking club thing. Really? Yeah. So we have to do it on a different day? Well, yeah, we have to do it tomorrow now. That sucks. That's stupid. I don't think there will be, but I think the fact that there wasn't our Bratz game means maybe? I hope they revive Bratz. Like, they bring they bring back the dolls, which I want to buy some of the Night Out ones. The problem is the, the dolls are not very good. Okay, but I really like them from my childhood. I just wanted a couple. Anyway, I hope they bring back the movies and stuff, because I was a huge fan of the, the Game Boy games and the movies and all that, and I used to be a big fan of Bratz. Mm -hmm. They were, like, my favorite. I think they're cool. It's just, I used to watch the show on Saturday morning, actually. Really? Did you like yeah, it? Yeah, there was like this old lady villain who was always trying to be young. Yeah, and she would like and try the and, get, and she would get like facelifts and like plastic surgery and stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. I really want to see if we can own that show at some point. To be honest, get that thing in the bottom left. I know it this belongs one? to yeah Claudine, but I think it's cool. I thought it was cool too. Like this. Yeah. Then let's save the rest of our money. I thought that that show was really funny. Me too. I Yeah, I used to watch it Saturday mornings. I never told anybody about that because everybody like called that kind of stuff gay when I was a kid. Oh, I think it's fun. I loved it. And I, I wanted to buy that show and be able to watch it again because I forget so much of it. And I used to think it was so awesome. I loved the brats so much. I always just thought it was really funny. It is really I like fun. the villain who wants to like get plastic surgery all the time. Me too. And Botox. Yeah. Are we going to change our outfit? No, I wanted to keep this outfit on for one more day since yesterday was short and I really like this outfit. That makes sense. I think we are like completing quest lines and hitting the point where there's not a ton of them left to do. Yeah, I think so too. Which is good. Oh, okay. so we have to attend the council meeting and then in the lunchtime we need to go to the cooking club. So don't let me forget. Cooking club lunchtime. Got the it. fashion show is about to start and you need to be here for it. I do? I guess so. Why is it going during school hours? I don't know. Weird, it doesn't say it on my thing. There's some very odd scheduling conflicts in this game with, like, class. Well, it also doesn't say it on my objectives. No. So, I don't know when I'm supposed to go to that. Do you? Uh... Maybe we should try it after school? I don't know, like... I guess maybe I should have done that yesterday, but it didn't say I had to. Hey, there's more stuff at the store when you okay. finish. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just access it right here. <laughs> I like the blue boots. Let's get those. We don't have enough different color boots. I agree. And then, I don't like those. The silver earrings are okay, but... Look, I'm Jesus. <laughs> oh. Ghouls us. Ghouls us? <laughs> They'd probably do something dumb like fears us or something. Fears us? Yeah, they always do that. They always use fear. So it's not on your missions? No, it's not. Look. Maybe it will be... Later? Oh. What's that other objective? I only read the one. Council meeting and cooking class. I told okay. you to remind me of that. Sorry, cooking class. Got it. We've got a busy day ahead of us, team. But this time, we do know what to expect, so we're far better prepared. On that note, the meeting is now in session. Once again, Deuce and the Cooking Club have come up with the goods. They've baked almost twice as many cookies this time around. So with a little luck, we won't sell out. Laguna, what are we doing with the sale positions? I thought we wanted to sell out. Yeah, I thought we wanted to, too. I guess you don't okay. want to sell out early. Oh, people. that's true. Looking at the student movements from the last fundraiser, we've improved the positioning of the cookie restocking points. Once again, each of you has been assigned a specific area. You know the deal. Sell as many cookies as is monsterly possible. Any questions? Yes, Katrine. Could I try a cookie? They look so scrumptious. I can almost taste them with my eyes. Me too! Me too! The master demands it! Must have cookies! You've got to be joking, ghouls! No! That's enough! No one's getting any cookies! They're strictly for the sale so we can raise money to fix up the casketball court! Remember? Now stop being silly and let's get on with it! Cut to you being a bitch and eating them as you sell them? 
That's true. <laughs> Which I, you did last time. <laughs> that's true, we did. Also, I don't understand why we couldn't just pay for them. Like, couldn't we just what? give... Like, well, couldn't Katrine just give her money and be like, I'd like to pay for a cookie to eat? What? No. Or, or are we just not allowed? <laughs> that was a weird sound. Oh my. Why are they saying Once it like that? I've uploaded each of your selling locations to your iCoffin maps. Find your way to the glowing icon and you'll be in position. Okay, that's it, people. Time to sell some cookies. How come she gets to choose our position for us? Oh. I want to choose my own spot in the school. You're not allowed to, sorry. I don't want to. We're probably just going to be in the main hall again. <laughs> like at the entrance. Oh, well, let's see what everybody's talking about. Casketball cookies are here. Feed your school spirit. Three for me, probably spoiled dinner, but who cares? <coughs> boom, boom, boom. Casketball cookies. Well, it's not like you have to eat dinner if you ate three cookies and aren't hungry. That's a good point. Like, just don't make the dinner then and it won't spoil. Right? I do prefer cookies. Yeah, I mean... You know, I, I go back and forth. Like, I really like sweets, but, like, if you put, like, a nice, juicy double cheeseburger in front of me, I think I prefer that over sweets. I want both. I want both, too, but if I had to pick one, I'd be picking the double cheeseburger. I think I might have to think about it. You might have to think about it? I'd so have to think about if it. If it was, like, you could just have a beautiful, full McDonald's breakfast, or you could have three candy bars, you'd have to think about it? It depends, it depends. It the depends. one is more filling. It depends filling. on how good which one is. Yeah, but the one's more filling and you don't feel as sick after it. Okay. Like, you start to feel literally queasy, or at least normal people do, after eating too much candy. Yeah, and I feel queasy after normal eating people. too much normal food. Normal people, not Jill people. Jill people gets, gets tummy problems from eating everything. Yes, I know. I know. Look, I ate a brownie. Wait, they're brownies. They're not cookies. Well. See, look. Look at the animation. They're brownies. See, look. Uh, you're not supposed to look at that. I'm looking. You're not supposed to. Don't look at that. I ate another brownie. <laughs> I like eating them, do you? It's weird that, like, they were being basically, like, Nazis about it, but then you just go around eating them as you sell them. Well, that's because I didn't ask. How is it not a problem that you do know. that? I don't know. I think because nobody sees or something. Look, watch. Just don't do that, because <laughs> you, you might run out, and then we might fail or something. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> it is funny, but I don't want to run out. No, 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 come back, come back, come, come back. back! Yeah, eat that. We caught her in the door. Wait, no, no, there's another one. No, I don't have any more. See, look, my plate's empty. Oh, okay. I have Go hit more. someone on the head with that. Okay. Yay! Joe got a job at a different restaurant that's going to be a lot better, a lot closer to home. A lot less terrible. A lot nicer people. Seemed like it. Seemed like people were actually willing to work with my schedule instead of being dicks. Yeah, that's... You know, they act like that, but then it's like people just quit. I don't know yeah. what they expect. Oh. They, and they're like, why do people quit? It's like maybe because you... Are a dick. ...treat people poorly and don't work with them. Like, and you, they can just go get another job. Well, that's my problem with a lot of these places, is they think you can't. They think, like, they're doing you a favor by giving you a job, and they're not. No, because, like, most places that you go to... Um, after you've probably interviewed at least three, you'll get at least one job, usually. Offer, as long as you yeah. do it decently. As long as, um, it depends what you're reaching for, but yeah, I agree. I mean, it's not that hard to get a job, especially now. Like, if it's entry level, I mean, usually. With... But they lie about entry level stuff a lot. Yeah, which I don't really understand. I also don't understand the argument that being a waiter or waitress is not entry level. I don't know, because it used to be, but now it isn't somehow? I don't know. Stupid. Yeah. Now you need experience. Whatever that means. I don't know. How do you get... So here's the other thing. How do you get experience if you can't get a job? And I know their their answer is basically, that's not our problem. But I like, know, whose but problem is it? That's the question everybody and their mother has been asking for years now. Whose problem? But whose problem is it then? If it's not their problem that you don't have experience and you need to get somewhere else. Who's supposed to say, oh, it's our problem. We'll give you experience. Yeah, I don't know. And don't who's know. supposed to bite the bullet on that? I don't know. That's the problem, is I think all places should just bite the bullet on it and give people who are new experience and train people. 
Yeah, to actually retain workers? I don't yeah, know. because that helps you retain workers. Well, like T said, a lot of these places don't want to take a chance on anyone, so then they get turnover from the bums they hire. Yeah, and then that costs them more money, doesn't it? Yes. Let's talk to Abby. Oh, hello. Customary greeting to you. We did better than last time, huh? Oh my god, that money bag is gargantuan! How are you lifting that thing? <laughs> I like customary greeting. <laughs> we do. Money. Give some money. I take it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. King's Book and Common demands I protect his treasure. So does the Sphinx and the Pharaohs. Relent, or their vengeance will rain down on Monster High. <laughs> Spook and Common, huh? I don't think so. I sure hope he's not of a specific race that isn't white. Or that he's Spook and Common. <laughs> You dare to ignore my command? The Sphinx will gobble you up and wreak havoc on these holes! Okay. Catherine, leave her alone. We've come to expect this whacked out stuff from Spectra lately, but not you. You know I'm council treasurer and I look after all council funds. So cool your jets and go away. Go away. I am sorry, you should not have to put up with that. Things have been crazier than usual around here, and I do not have a clue what is going on. Maybe it is something in the water, but Katrine, it just makes no sense. We'd better start being extra careful when handling the council money. It's getting hard to know who to trust. Why do the dialogue subtitles not match what they say? There's I like know. always one line they change. I know, it's kind of weird, but whatever, I guess. These cookies are colossal. Wonder what secret ingredient is driving everyone totally wild. Poor Luna is sitting on the bed waiting for us to go to bed. It's my time. And she was laying like this, Jill. She was laying there and she was like this at me. Aww, she's so cute. With her eyes wide open, like, you, come to bed. Do you want to know what Jackie Laura said is in the cookies? I've heard it's crushed scarabs and cobra tongues. Uh... Why would she... What are you, Gulia? Uh... Why would she even spread a rumor like that? I think that was the truth. They probably eat weird stuff at Monster High, don't you That's think? That's probably true, yes. That's Ickis McDickis. Oh, we need that. We need that money. Money! Why do they care so much about getting money when it just flies through the halls? Maybe only we can see that. We have, like, special money powers. I wish I had that in real life. <laughs> My credit card debt would be gone immediately. That's true. What'd you do? I went and hung out at the local high school and just picked up money that flew through the air. That flew through the air. I would actually go back to substitute teaching, because I'd spend my time in the halls going like this, reaching up and just grabbing coins as they fly You're by. funny. I don't think that's how the world works. Double your income per hour. That's true. It'd probably be better than actually having to do a teaching. Yeah, teaching kind of sucks. You should tell everybody about how much you hate teaching. I don't really hate it. I just think that it's... Oh, go to the cooking club. Yeah. I just think that it's uh, not for me. Yeah, right? makes sense. Yeah. Also, like, too many girls hit on me. Really? How many? Uh, several. Several? Yeah, enough Wait. to be uncomfortable. Really? And they were all teenage girls, right? Yeah, because I was like... But also, you're not far enough apart in age for it to not be, like, weird, like, extra weird. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you're only, you were only, like, 23, right? Uh, no, I was younger than that. I was probably, like, 22. Yeah, and, and these girls were, like, 17 or 17, 18. 18. Yeah. Like, seniors. Yeah, so it wasn't that weird. It's just... Well, no, but the problem is that it is weird, because that's, like, if you... There's a lot of, like, abuse of power around that kind of stuff. Yeah, because it's against the rules, and also if they're under 18, it's, like, against the law. Right, and the problem with it is, like, they are, you are young enough that they look like you. Yeah. Okay, you're not old enough that, like, like, if you're, like, 50, and you're not fucked in the head, and you look at a 17-year-old, you don't really think they're hot. Probably not. You just think, oh, that's a kid. Yeah. When you're, like, 20, and yeah. you see a 17-year-old, there's a lot of times they look like a 20-year-old. Yeah. And the problem with that is you're like... Because nothing changes much from 17 to 20. No, so you're not physically far enough removed from them to not see them as almost the same as you. Yeah. And so it becomes extremely awkward and, like, just very uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, if you were, I like, agree. 50, you can at least just be like, oh, that's just a kid being harmless. Like, just leave it alone. Just, you know, discourage it and move on. But when you're, like, 20, it's just weird. Yeah, I completely agree. 
So and it also, made you uncomfortable, pretty much. Yeah, and also people around you don't trust you either. Yeah. Because they think, like, oh, you must, like, like kids. Especially for men in what teaching. What the heck? <laughs> men in teaching, people assume they're pedophiles. Always? Not always. That's but, ridiculous. But it happens a lot. And also that problem you told me about where, like, those kids got into a fight and your other teacher friend, like, pushed them apart and got fired for touching them. That was not me. That was my mom's co-worker. Oh, I thought that was you. No. I thought that was, like, one of your friends at work. No. Oh, hey, Aurora Drake, what brings you to the cooking club? Fashion club treats. Oh. The fashion club needs some treats for their show. That's cool. I don't remember that. Yeah, they do. We came and said, hey, we need some. And he was like, oh, just write it off as another another favor. No, no, that was for the cooking. Like, for the bake oh, sale. Actually, never mind. I don't remember this either. That's fine. Don't question the story. Let's just move forward. Well, they never mentioned this, though. That's fine. Who cares? Let's just go. Deuce, we're slammed. Can we really take on more work? What is a skeleton moth, by the way? Is it a real thing? Um. So in Freaky Fusion, they mute. They they fuse two monsters together. So a skeleton and like you know, like the Mothman. So she should be two people. No, it's like, it's like as if the Mothman had sex with a skeleton chick. But I thought in Freaky Fusion also some of the main characters got fused together. I don't know, I didn't watch that movie. I'm just saying it's probably like as if the moth Mothman had sex with a skeleton chick and had a baby. Okay, got it. So things that couldn't normally exist but do. Yeah, probably. Sure we can, this team can do anything. Why'd you put a guy with a gun in this, by the way? I'm looking at my video. <laughs> Well, because he's supposed to be a robber. Oh, okay, got right? it. Right? Isn't that a robber? I guess. What, is that, like, against the rules or something? No, it's just really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I look down and there's a random guy with a pistol. Well, he's a robber. Like, robbers have guns, don't they? Uh, it depends on where you are, I guess. And probably in Japan they don't. They probably have, like, spatulas. Because oh. there's, like, the gun rules are so strict there oh. that only, like, the cops and the Yakuza have guns. You seem so confident. All right, let's do it. Wouldn't they have katanos because they're Japanese? Joel, that is racist. No, it's not. It is, kind of. <laughs> well, need some ingredients to get started on it. I need you to hunt down some ice cream for us. Great. Sure. Great. Just bring it back here once you found it. Will do. We'll run your errands for you again. Always do. No, oh, now we gotta go get some scream with eyes. Maybe the reason this Let's Play is taking so long is because you stopped to talk in the middle. You're the one who's talking! What? I like our outfit. Me too, that's why I kept it on. You know what they could have done that would have been a great thing for Monster High? What? <clears throat> Custom dolls. So, I'm saying, like, you pay $100 and you can choose from... Maybe that's a bit much. Maybe you pay like fifty or sixty dollars, and you can choose from all of these different settings, like like this, how you can create a character. Uh -huh. They have all these specific things, like they have these fifteen hair colors, these twelve haircuts. They these... have this. They did. So they didn't have it through a website. It's just they had um, this box set where you had, could choose like from three different bodies, three different heads, three different hairstyles. No, not that. I'm three saying way more. Way more. No, I know what you mean, I know. And you send um, it in, and then you buy it. But that was probably the most they were gonna have. However, American Girl used to do that sort of thing, where you'd go on their website and choose, like... Wasn't it, like, a couple hundred dollars, though, or something? Yeah. You'd choose, like, what eye color you wanted, what hair color you wanted, stuff like that. And I think they could have very easily done that for Monster High, and it would have been really cool. And I don't know why they didn't do that idea. I don't know. I mean, you don't even have to do, like, a big branded box. You could just put it in a black box. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's, like a huge deal. I think that could have been really cool. I don't know why they didn't do that. Probably because Mattel is cheap! Well, when you start doing custom stuff, like, you get a lot of new sales that you wouldn't get otherwise. And a lot of people really love custom stuff, and... And OCs. They like to make their own OC it, in that universe. And something else that they love is being able to design things, you know? Like, mm -hmm. when they did that, like, help design Rochelle doll... Wait, are It doesn't matter, you just said oh. come back tomorrow. Okay. When they did that help, like, design Rochelle Skelector doll, even though I don't really like how it turned out in the end. Really? You don't? I thought you did it. Um, so I've got a few problems with it. I will get to that in a second. But, um, what I'm trying to say is people really liked being able to choose. So my thing with it is the... I liked being able to vote, and a lot of the choices that I chose got chosen, which was fun. Did you just not like how they look in reality? 
So here's what I, I don't like, because they haven't shown the doll in reality yet. They've only shown sketches. But the only two options for dresses, uh, which came out after you got to choose the shoes and the accessories, um, were really long dresses that go to the feet. So you could either choose a dress that went to the feet or a dress that went to the feet. That was the only two options. And I guess what my problem was with, with it is I felt like that was way too much in comparison to the um, very decorative and beautiful accessories that we had given her. Mm -hmm. And she has really beautiful, tall, like, boots. So why would you put a dress on that covers on covers up the boots? I feel like they should have had a third option where it was a shorter dress. That makes sense. You know, and I, I just didn't like some of the options, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Hey, you know, I'm really looking forward to practice today. As much as I like Cleo, her behavior was really making fear leading a high drama. It kind of sucked the fun out of everything. Oh, hmm. I wonder where Claudine and Draculaura are. They should have been here by now. You don't think we should be worried, do you? You know what? We're probably just overreacting. They could have just slept in or decided on having a lazy day. Let's start practicing without them. I don't like this mini game. It's annoying and I always forget the buttons. But they had ended randomly. I don't know. That's it! Perfect! Do you get the feeling someone's watching us? No. It's God. He knows what you did. <laughs> oh no. They're infected. Well, well, what do we have here? You'll have to do better than that, ghouls, if you hope to be fear leaders. Cleo, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm the captain of the fear leading team. I'm here to put you ghouls through your paces. What's going on? Yesterday we decided to kick Cleo off the team, and now you guys are acting like you want her back as captain. I don't understand. What are you talking about, silly ghoul? No such thing happened yesterday, did it? Claudine? Draculaura? Why would we do that? We all love Queen Cleo being the head of the fear leading team. So true! If Her Majesty wasn't here, we wouldn't have a chance to win the Monster Nationals. Cleo helps us be the best fear leaders we can. We should be thanking her, not throwing her off the team. Uh... I think the two what of us should, should just do? quit. I agree. Run for it? Yeah, run for it. Good idea. Let's go. We just ran right past them. Yeah, and they deserved it. <sighs> That was close. I can't believe Claudine and Draculaura have changed. We have to turn up to fear leading practice tomorrow. For their sake. Draculaura and Claudine were on our side just a couple of days ago. But now... Meet me at the gym before practice begins. I don't want to get caught in there by myself. How would that matter? She got both of them. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should go tell Bloodgood that someone's possessed. I think so, too. I don't get why we don't. Ah, I don't know. Cleo means business when she says, I will be back. That's a Terminator reference. Cleo Phoenix Rising. Alright. Where could that last locker be? I don't know. I don't know where the last locker code is. You have to... Yeah. Sorry. You can't just walk through there. That's an invisible wall. Sorry. In uh, Pokemon, you can walk through it. Sorry. Pokemon. Uh, it should be. <laughs> Boy, why are we getting so many things, but it says there's nothing new? I don't know. It's like a weird glitch in the game. It's still doing it. I know. Stupid. <laughs> 